I'm too early. Don't disregard me. Someone just typed in the Discord such ominous music for this stream, and I totally agree. Um, that was a Mortal Kombat song. It was made by someone from the community. Um, let's listen to the Calico again. Yo, this one. Everybody, how y'all doing? I'm so I'm only looking at Twitch chat for this, so I want to see some hellos in the chat. How's everybody doing today? Doing good. All right. Well, we have an exciting presentation, a very exciting jam scheduled ahead of us. This is the fifth annual Seattle Indies Jam. Seattle Indies Slow Jam. We're going to be doing this for two weeks, and there's a lot of great information. This presentation will tell all things about the jam, and will also tell the theme. And there's a few secrets. There's a few secrets ahead for that. Um, but I'll, I'll just leave that like that for now, and leave you all in suspense. Everybody doing good? Let me see. Oh, my face is special. Thank you so much. I, I that was the first comment I read. That was the most unique one to, to, to immediately uh, do this. But thank you, everybody. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Happy to be repping for the Seattle Indies. Oh, my goodness. Fantastic. All right, let me load up. I have the secret to a good kickoff presentation, and that is PowerPoint. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you, PowerPoint. Um, it's slow jam time, so let's get into it. Let's 
Who are the Seattle Indies? That's a great question. Who, who are they? Seattle Indies is an organization dedicated to Seattle Indies, obviously, um, in the Pacific Northwest and people around um, the area. And we do a lot of game jams. We do a lot of game events, the holiday party. Um, someone just literally just posted that. Um, we do a lot of stuff in Seattle, which is fantastic. I'm so happy someone mentioned Comic Sans because I totally did that as a joke. And there we go. It's, we're doing Comic Sans. They, they asked me, I volunteered to run this jam, and I was really anxious about like, oh, what if I mess up? What if I do something that's like blah, blah, blah? And I just said, you know what? Let's not overthink it. Let's just purposely go out of our way to do Comic Sans. So that's why that's there. But Seattle Indies, great um, community with a lot of great indie devs. Um, a lot of my best friends I met through the Seattle Indies and um, my game teams and stuff I've met through the Seattle Indies. And I owe, I owe this personally, owe the Seattle Indies a whole lot. They do a lot of really cool stuff and welcome. Um, but I mentioned the Seattle area. But lately, Earth... Um, we have people from the, in the community from all around the earth. We have people in the East Coast of the United States, from Germany, from the UK. Hi, Joe. Um, <laughs> tons of people from all the way around the globe. So if you're not locally located in Seattle, don't worry. This is still a community you can enjoy and take part in. Seattle's all about the mindset, and that's what I think. So if you're here from non-Seattle, you can, you can chill with us. We're totally, we're totally good with that. Um, what about this jam? Seattle Indies, five years in a row doing this jam. And this jam is my favorite jam of the year, personally. Um, we have a lot of, every year we have so many great games. Some of those games have gone on to be commercial products, which is great. Um, as you can see, D-Leveled, Point Break, Witch Wizard. What's that? Who knows? Um, <laughs> that's my game, spoiler alert. Shameless promotion. I'm just kidding. Okay. A lot of great games, a lot of great people, and it's super, super special. Super happy to have you here. Um, during the game jam, we'll be. If you want to tweet your game, um, we have things in the Discord. Please share your progress, your work in um, Point Break. Did I say Point Break? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, no! I said no, no. Point Break. Okay. Anyways. We will have uh, tweeting, Twitter, Twitter's a thing, Seattle Indies, at Seattle Indies. Do you use your hashtags, hashtag S-I-G-J, Seattle Indies Game Jam. Um, I'm also on Twitter. I'll be liking and retweeting things and stuff. I can't wait to see what everyone's working on, what everybody's doing. Um, so really, really fantastic. And you can support the Seattle Indies. So we do have a Patreon. And fun fact. Uh, you don't have to, you don't have to do the Patreon. It's really nice. It helps helps out Seattle Indies a lot. I actually just started doing the Patreon, and I've been in the community for a long time, so like no pressure. Um, but that's there. You can also donate. We also, for a limited time only, have Seattle Indies Slow Jam 2021 short uh, short sleeve shirts. So if you look at the art that Kieran made, and you're like, wow, um, that's fantastic. I want to wear it. You can. Some of the money will go towards um, supporting Seattle Indies, which is always great. Before we get started, really in the nitty gritty of the jam, I just want to talk about the code of conduct. Um, by participating in the jam, you're agreeing to the Seattle Indies code of conduct. It's a really good one. Um, it's, it's fantastic. Please review it. Uh, there's a website. Review that. Basically, it comes down to zero tolerance for discrimination and harassment. Absolutely none. Zero. Um, communicate in a professional manner. Be kind to each other. Um, you know, don't start. <laughs> don't, go, don't go crazy. And behave ethically. That's a big one. Um, you can find more details of those three points in the Code of Conduct, and I highly recommend you do that. It's really good stuff. So the adventure begins. What do we think? This one Spyro, it's fantastic. The adventure begins before we get into things like the theme and the fun stuff. Let's go through what I think is the most fun, and that is 
the schedule. So, what are we going to expect? <laughs> I thought the theme was going to be the adventure begins. That's fantastic. Um, that would have been a good theme. Uh, the themes were uh, suggested by our Seattle Indies patrons, so remember that. Um, that was not one of them, but that, that should have been it. Um, so, let's go over the schedule. Um, today, we're doing the presentations. After the presentations, we're going to be hopping in and um, to the Discord, 6.30. We're going to do like a brainstorming, team forming kind of thing, where we're going to break out into all the different rooms. There's so many channels in the Discord. Hop into them, jump between them, um, just sort of vibe with others, figure out, talk about the theme that um, has not been announced yet. I'm, I'm purposely withholding that information from everyone, sorry. Um, just, you know, chill, relax. Um, at 7.30, we're going to all hop back into the Seattle Indies Game Jam main theater for game pitches. And basically what that looks like is each person um, or team will pick a representative to talk about their game idea and pitch their game idea and what roles they're looking for. So if you're like, oh, I, hey, I'm looking for a musician or hey, I'm looking for a programmer, um, you can definitely do that. Afterwards, so after the pitches are all over, we're going to start jamming. We're going to have some fun. And um, if you haven't found a team yet, there will be Colin, Patrice, and I are going to be hanging out, trying to, you know, find the stragglers and help them find teams. So don't worry about that. But definitely, try, hopefully, by the end of this night, you'll have a team and find found your place in the world and everything. So that's fantastic. Um, we also, throughout the two weeks that we're doing this jam, we do have socials. So every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m., we have Coffee Break, and Coffee Break is a chill atmosphere where people can talk, play games, um, help get help with bugs, see what other people are working on, and um, it's really good. And that actually runs all year. So that continues even after the jam is done. Um, we're still in Coffee Break every Saturday. Um, real quick, Discord etiquette on that. Feel free to hop around rooms freely. Um, sometimes it can feel a little awkward to like, oh, I don't want to feel like I'm leaving in the middle of a conversation. Like I don't like the conversation or like, um, it can be sometimes awkward to like leave a room and we really want to encourage you to just go, go for it. Just leave when you want, join when you want. Um, this is the way it's the best way. It's the least awkward. Like, um, just, yeah, definitely leave just whenever you want. Um, also during the jam. Every Wednesday, so just you know, during the jam, every Wednesday, 7 p.m. and after, we are we'll we'll be doing late night coffee break. And late night coffee break is the same as coffee break, but late night. Um, and yeah, <laughs> and you work along your work with your games alongside fellow jammers. Come hang out. Um, these socials are not mandatory, so if you're like, I don't want to do this, I don't want to, you know, <laughs> I don't want to hang out with. I don't want to hang out with Brad. No, you don't, you don't have to, um, you can chill, you know, come if you want, come for 30 minutes. You don't have to come the whole time. Really. Uh, it's, it's great. Um, next Saturday. So not tomorrow, next Saturday, coffee break will be going. Um, we also are planning a work in progress show off stream. So Seattle Indies is also hosting a public in real life event called pedal jump games and play festival. And one of the ideas is to us to stream on Twitch and um, for me to invite you, the jammers, to show off your games. And we will have um, a big screen there um, or a screen. I don't know the budget. <laughs> um, we will have a screen there either way. And people from the in real life event can watch and participate in the um stream this event which is which is really really cool more details to that to come keep keep an eye on the discord um next up this is the most important um sunday november 21st that is the end of the jam a little over two weeks actually actually insane it's really really cool i'll do one of these which sometimes the soundboard just doesn't have like what am i going to do this i don't know um, <laughs> I, I thought I had one for every situation. I guess I don't. Um, 
the 21st, 12 p.m., submissions are due. 12. That's not a whole lot of time, especially for people doing late-night coffee breaks, staying up really late. Um, not a whole lot of time. If you need to submit the day before on that Saturday, Saturday at night, um, 12 p.m., submissions are due. Submit on itch.io. Um, submit your games to the Seattle Indie Slow Jam 2021 Jam page. Big thing, it's in bold. Include a link to a trailer slash gameplay video. Um, I'm going to say this again on the next slide, but that's super important. Um, I'll talk more about that later, but definitely include a link um, to a YouTube video that has a trailer and or gameplay video footage that's three minutes or less. Um, and I'll re be restating that because every time I do a jam, I always forget this and I'm always stressed out at the end because of the video, not even because of the jam, um, not even because of the game. So I will be saying this and re-saying this. Um, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. around there, um, judges will be playing the games. So we will have some judges playing the games. Really fantastic. Um, we'll be handing out some awards just for fun. No, like, no, no physical rewards or anything. Just this sort of notoriety of it all. Um, during that time, you can also feel free to use the Discord freely as a hangout, play each other's games. I definitely encourage that. That's that's really awesome. Um, then at 7 p.m. PST, we are all going to come back here, do the same thing for the closing presentations. And those are hype. Those are the ones where we'll be showing those videos um, that people present. We'll be showing those, um, celebrating all the wonderful games made during the jam and really, really cool stuff. Definitely, um, definitely look out for that and tell your friends. It's going to be a really fun show. Restating the submission information, 12 p.m., November 21st, uh, submit on itch, include a link to a trailer slash gameplay video. So there it is again, just so you know. Um, make sure your team knows that's important. And this is the video that will be used for final presentations, three minutes or less. Um, just restating that. Okay. <laughs> Now we're getting into some fun stuff. These are diversifiers. On the Seattle Indies um, 2021 itch page, we have a whole bunch of them. And let me tell you, these ones, these ones are the best of the best. Like I've been around, I've seen some diversifiers, and I've ignored some diversifiers. These ones aren't to be slept on. These are, these are great. You heard it here first. These are great. And I'm not just saying that because I made some of them. Um, we also had a bunch of the other event organizers pitch in, and they're all really, really cool. Um, definitely check those out. And there's something at the bottom there that says maybe a few more to come. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, how's everybody feeling? That was a lot of information, Twitch chat. Uh, did, you, did you digest that all okay? Theme time. Good, good. <laughs> oh no, there's an argument. More soundboard, less soundboard. Okay, here we go. Oh. Let this, this is a momentous occasion. A lot of people, I know, I can feel the energy. I can feel the hype around this year's theme. And it was a battle. It was a battle all the way through. It was very close. This was the closest we've ever had for Seattle Indies Game Jam. Like, I was making plans for the theme. The next day, the theme would change. It was crazy. There was, like, this whole, there's this one, um, one of the, like, the choices like developed this weird cult following and like people just loved it. And um, there's been topics and discussions and controversy. It's been great. Um, so here we go for, for this, for this, I need some hype in the chat. I made the PowerPoint. 
actually hooked up a Twitch bot to it. So it will not continue. It will not show the theme until the chat's like spamming. So we have to spam the chat. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here we go. I wonder what it is. <laughs> The Seattle Indies theme is... Oh my goodness, that was overload. The, the, the theme is cozy and what is on the screen? Bonus diversifiers? So not only is it cozy, we also have bonus diversifiers for failure is your friend, make a game where failure helps the player, and option 13 is a diversifier? Is that, even, is that even allowed? Can I even do that? Yes, I can. Option 13 is also a bonus diversifier. So, this is tons, tons, and tons of options. Um, I'm super excited. I don't know about everybody else, um, but thank you for joining me. Presentations, wow, we did it. Um, I want to thank the Seattle Indies. Um, me, LOL, okay. I was supposed to edit that out, but that's fine. Uh, the Coffee Break Braces, thank you so much. And jammers like you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, special thanks to Nick for the stream decals and stream things. Also, shout out to Kieran, who made our wonderful jam promo art. Really fantastic. So, everybody, let's go meet in the Discord and let's get some brain jamming going. I'm super excited. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, a second one. Okay. okay. I'll take it. Thank you. All right. See you in the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> 